Hello and welcome to another episode of BPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what would you like to cover today? Well, I was hoping you could explain to me what I would use the Crystal Reports Viewer for. Sure. You can use the Crystal Reports Viewer for a couple of different things. Mm -hmm. If you've got a report that we've done for you, a custom report that isn't one of our standards, it's a totally different report, and we didn't do a custom interface for you, you can use the Crystal Report Viewer to print it through Enterprise. Okay. If you've also done a, maybe a custom report of your own to pull information out of Enterprise and it's not a modification of one of our standards, it's a brand new report, again, you can use Crystal Report Viewer to sure. print that report out of Enterprise. A third thing you could use it for is maybe you don't want to give a user access to a particular module, but you want them to be able to print one or two reports out of that module. You can add that to the Crystal Report Viewer and then they can print the reports from the Crystal Report Viewer. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so how would I get started setting a report up to use through there? Well, let me show you that right here. I'm going to go into File Maintenance. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up to Report Files and choose Crystal Report Viewer List. Here is where I set up the reports that I want access to in Crystal Report Viewer. Okay. Now I've got one here called the Material Usage Report. Say I also want to add the Material on Hand Value Report. I would click on Add. And you have to enter a code, which is just a numeric code, and it has to be unique to identify the report. So I'm just going to put in a 2. I'm going to come down to Description, and I'm going to type in the description for the report I want to print. So I'm going to call this Material on Hand Value. Then I'm going to click down in File Name, and then I can click on the Browse button, and it will bring me to my default reports folder, and I can then find the report that I want to print. And this one's called Material on Hand Value 2. So I'm going to find that report, click on it, and choose Open. And then I can click OK, and it's added it here to the list. Now, if I get out of Standards and go into Reports and choose Crystal Report Viewer, I now have access to both the reports here. I see. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit wider so I can see the full names of the reports. Now, if I want to print the report, say I want to print the Material Usage Report, I would select it and just click Run Report. When this runs, the first thing it will do is open up a window where it will ask me for the parameters that the report needs. So in this case, it's asking me for a start date. Say I want to run this for November. I'm going to enter 11-1-2011 for the start date, 11-30-2011 for the end date, and then click OK. And then it will pass the parameters to the report and run the report. OK. OK. okay. Next, I'm going to run the on-hand value report. Again, I highlight it, click Run Report. This time, it's asking me for a category code. Now, I could enter a category code that's in my database, or I know that if I enter the word all, this particular report will return the on-hand values for all categories. So I'm going to enter all and click OK. And then I get the report for all categories. OK, now what if I don't know what the parameters should be? to run the report? Well, if you don't know what the parameters should be for a particular report, and it's one of our standard reports, mm -hmm. all you have to do is put an incident into our support system, let us know what report it is that you're trying to run, and what the parameters are and that you don't understand, and we'll let you know what they should be and what the different options are. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Do you have any other questions? Uh, no, I think that answers them all. Yeah, that was good. Well, thank you. And thank, thank you. you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward to more episodes to come.